Hello, welcome back to Subtech Online. It's me again, Sabit Christopher, to take you through a, a smart trick which I can call that is condition formatting. So the condition formatting we are going to look at is uh, when you have your data which recurs on a daily basis and uh, when a date changes, the color changes automatically and that's what we are going to do. So you see this is first, when it changes to second, it does a change in color. Third, it changes fourth like that. So it becomes easy for you to pin out or pick out data depending on uh, which dates you need to look at. So we are going to do this for two ways. Uh, for the date which is uh, arranged in order and uh, dates which are scattered. So uh, stay tuned. Let's start. Uh, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the conditional formatting on this worksheet. So uh, we find conditional formatting in home, then on styles, that is conditional formatting. I'm going to clear rules. So I'm clearing rules in the entire sheet. So it automatically disappears. <coughs> then I'll have uh, the background color taken back to no fill. So this is the default data we have uh, running from 1st to 31st of January of 2019. So now we need uh, every time a date changes, color should change such that we get a difference between yesterday and today. Uh, okay, the first thing, the, uh, what we are going to do, I'm going to use the formula first, then uh, I will explain uh, the bits of the formula in the conditional formatting. So what you do, select your data. This is the data we are going to consider. Or oh, you can select the whole sheet you have. I will show you how you can change this. So even if it is not selected, uh, go to conditional formatting. That is home, conditional formatting. Uh, go to new rule. We are going to set a new rule. Uh, it will pop up a new formatting rule dialog box. Uh, leave all the other bits, format only cells that contain this and this. We are going to use use the formula to determine which cells are to format. So for now, we're going to select uh, the values. Now the values is the formula we're going to use. Now, what are we looking at? What is the formula? We are going to look at the unique date. Every time we leave uh, one date to the other, which means uh, our formula should sense that and change the color. So the first thing is we are going to use the equals unique. I'm using uh, Office 365, but uh, the function unique is uh, in uh, 2016 going forward and uh, 365. So for the latter versions, uh, you may not have this directly used, but I will show you how you can do it. So I'll use unique, open parenthesis. So we are running from our date, we are considering running from A2 up to the last. So, but this is going to be an array. Uh, I will use cell reference from A2, then uh, continuously I will leave this one. Uh, I will lock the column, leave the row unlocked, such that uh, every time it changes, uh, the row number will be changing downwards. Uh, then what are we meant to do is, uh, what do we need to preview? Uh, before we move that side. So now this one we are selecting out the unique date. Then after selecting out a unique date, what do we do? We are going to count for the range that you'll have selected or for the range that you'll have gone down with the sheet. How many unique values are there? So we are going to count. So we we cover the unique function in the count a function, open parenthesis then you close this. Now this means that we are going to be counting in every range, we are going to be counting how many distinct dates are there. Which means if we select from let's say A2 to uh, A24, which means how many unique dates are there or distinct dates that are there. That is first, second, third and fourth. That will be a four. Now after counting, then we are going to ask ourselves, is it an odd? Because we need, if it is an odd date, that is uh, like uh, one, uh, 1st of January 2019, uh, then the other one will be even 2nd of January. So we sh you can use is odd or is even, or you can work. So we're going to use the function uh, is odd, 
we also uh, cover combine it on into the other previous function so the three functions we have used we started with the internal one that is the unique we are testing the distinct values then we counted them after that we are testing is it an odd number now if it is an odd number that will be a true if it is not then it will be a false which means if it is a true what should what should you do on format so here i will come to formatting i get my format which i feel like is best suiting my data going forward so i will leave all the others as default the font the border i will go to fill directly i will pick an orange mm, yeah i can go with that or i can go with a green i can go with uh, a light green this one will work yep yeah that one will work then and that's all i can just select that then i okay this then okay so you see that uh, the first date, the moment we drop into second, it 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 do doesn't format. It it skips the format when you go to third because this is now is odd. When you move to the fourth, like that. So going forward, you'll see that every odd date will will be formatted. So to have a two color formatting, I will select all my data, then add a background feel like of a faint green. So comes easy here you see uh this is first this is second so you get a difference between one day to the other so when you're capturing data on a daily basis it becomes easy for you to know that on this day we've gone with two on the other day we've gone with so that is it now uh, i'm going to show you how that formula works the formula we have used in the conditional formatting i'm going to show you how it works uh, i'm going to call here this as a test test column now the first thing we started with was uh, equals to unique function so we started with a unique function and a unique function selecting downwards and i said uh, we use absolute so i will uh, use absolute reference but uh, for the last i will leave it from a2 to a2 such that uh, every time we change from one to the other this one will be changing so it will give me a number because this number is the date uh i can change the format and you look at it uh that number is the date okay this so it will give me that number which means when i run this one downwards uh you'll see it reaches somewhere it spills so when i copy this date copy and i put it here it's going to run for me two dates uh, i can format this it's going to run for me two dates first and second but uh, it means that the date has changed so this you see it runs from a2 to a11 now that means that because now we have made here a change that's why it is giving us two dates and this is an array you see so uh then the, the next thing we are going to count the instinct so we are counting the instinct counting the instinct we use count a uh, then we enclose that and okay okay yes so i will take this back to number sorry i'll take i'll take this back to number now that is one which means when i scroll this one downwards so you see one 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 because this is first when we reach second another date it will count two 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 so it means that from here up to here we have only four distinct dates and that's what exactly i was telling you now what is the next thing we are going to count to test this is it odd or it is even so here that's where i encapsulate uh, this in a function called is odd this function is a test function so i will enclose this close parenthesis so this time uh sorry okay so this time uh you will note that uh, i run this down you will note that every time we are having an odd then it is true then when changes to false that's when we skip the formatting exactly that's what was being done in the background if i go back to uh, manage our our conditional formatting that is here so when i click on manage uh, this is exactly what it was telling us that from 
this range for the whole of this range this is what it, it does is odd you count uh, the instinct then get out the unique so that is it then with the dates you can try out this by yourself with the dates that are scattered uh, you don't need you only need to use uh, as is odd functions uh, so I will click on this to show you how the function is written so uh, when I edit rule so here the function is just is odd so we start with is odd since it's an array spilling downwards which means every time they find that uh, it is even it, it changes automatically which means this what it means that even if I put here tens uh, 10th of January it will change this because it is an even and all events are being uh, formatted which is different from this side because this side if I change uh, this to third uh, it you see it, there is a way it covers up this because of the array we are using so you see even second is being taken into consideration so uh, those are the two different ways I wanted to show you. Please, uh, I can take this back. Please, uh, if you find uh, this data we have sharing is useful, please consider leaving us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and share to friends. Uh, anyone can be, it can be of helpful. Thank you. Uh, bye bye for now. Meet you in the next video.